Good morning, Discover Life Church. Good morning, good morning. My name is Michelle. And my name is Cameron. And we are here on another fantastic Sunday morning. We are ready to worship. We are ready to get into the Word. And even though it's a rainy, kind of cloudy day, it's still a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Absolutely, absolutely. Every day, every day is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Amen. So we are so thankful that you are tuning in with us, and we are excited for what Pastor Manny is going to be sharing with us today. Um, if you're just tuning in, we do usually do worship first, so get prepared, get your heart ready, because we're going to dance and we're going to sing unto the Lord. And then you can get your coffee and your notebook and get prepared to take notes, because we're going to have a really awesome sermon today. Oh, absolutely. I'm so excited for the message that we have today and the worship. I just, I just love all of Sunday. I always all of Sunday. leave here so refreshed and so just filled by the Spirit, because the presence of the Lord is in the house this morning. Absolutely. You know, it says when two or more gather there, he will be. And he is going to be here today. Yes. And that he inhabits the praises of his people. Absolutely. And we're about to praise. And I hope you join in with us. So school is almost over. Uh, yeah, Spring it is. time is already drawing to an end. And it's about to be summer. Can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited for summer. I absolutely cannot wait. I mean, I love summer. Just the heat, you know, I'm not a fan of the heat. But summer yeah. is so awesome. And we have some really cool things happening at Discover Life Church over the summer. That's right. We do. Like so what? We, what do we got? Oh, well, this summer we're having our summer grow and pray, which is starting on June 5th. Yes. So make sure to join us on Wednesday nights. We're going to be starting at 645. We're going to be starting with prayer and worship. It's going to be a great time to come and usher in the presence of the Lord. And it is going, and then for the next 30 minutes, then we're going to be having a message by Pastor Manny, and he's going to be teaching on demonology. That is so interesting. I'm really excited. So it's called Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Yeah. It sounds so, I'm so, excited. So usually on Wednesdays, we have our corporate prayer, and we welcome everybody to come and have dinner beforehand. The cafe is open, and we always have some really good things cooked. And then we make our way into the sanctuary, and we pray. We bring heaven to earth. But now we're adding on something after that. We're going to have this message that Pastor Mandy's teaching on, which is about demonology. And if you're like me, I have a lot of questions around that stuff. It's a very interesting topic Absolutely. that I feel like all Christians should have knowledge of. And so we invite you to join us on Wednesday night. Be here at 6. At 6. six. That's when we start serving the food. That's when the cafe opens. And so we would love to see you. You can bring your family, of course, and we'll grow and we'll pray. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know... We also have something else going on this summer. And what do we have coming up next, too? So I'm actually the guest experience lead here at Discover Life Church, and it's an honor to be able to see all these new faces that we have coming in. So one thing that our pastors, Manny and Victoria, like to do is we like to have a lunch with pastors every once in a while when we feel like we have a lot of new families that have joined us. And so it's going to be on the 23rd of June, directly after service. We just ask that you stay and hang out and get to know our pastors some. You can Absolutely. ask questions. You can. Um, they love to talk about their testimonies that they've had because they have been in ministry for a long time and they've seen some amazing things that the Lord has done. And so we invite everybody who has any questions or wants to get to know them to come and be a part of that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, another thing is one of our core values here at Discover Life Church is missional. We are missional. Yes. So we do a lot of local outreaches. We do mission. We have a mission trip coming up to Nicaragua yes. soon. Yes. But currently, we have a local mission that we're supporting right now. Yeah. Um, could you tell us what that local mission is all about? So as a woman, it's pretty near and dear to my heart because we partner with Obria Baby Clinic here in Lawrenceville, and they really help out mothers who are struggling to know if they might want to keep their baby or not, and we kind of encourage them um, to do so. And then when they do have that baby, we want to help support them with diapers and wipes and even medical care because it's expensive to have children. And Absolutely. so we want to come alongside them as people of God and let them know that they are supported. So you can give that by um, grabbing a baby bottle and filling it up with some change and some cash. Absolutely. Well, it is start. It's, it's time, time for worship. Yes. So sure let's get prepared. Us. Absolutely. Yes. Let's get prepared. It is such a wonderful day today. It is such a blessing to be able to step into this house, to be able to worship the Almighty God. Amen. May we all come and join together.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My mom sings a song, and it says, When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah! 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 I thank God for saving me. Do I have any witness in the house that God is good? Can I see your hands if God has been good to you? Hallelujah. Can we just give God some glory today? Can we make a commitment to abandon ourselves and all distractions and allow God to move as he wishes in his house? Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Father. Right now, somebody needs you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
I get caught up on that line. You've been down through the years. shout in this building. All over the room. All over the room. Give him a shout. Give him the highest praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Can somebody here agree that God is good? You know, one of the most fascinating things that our Creator included in the creation of humanity is our memory. And of course, you have secular theologians, secularized scientists that identify that our consciousness is only our memories. But we know that we're more than memories. We are a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. We are what we call a trichotomy. However, what's fascinating about our memory is that while we're on earth using this brain, Although our mindset and our mental capacity is limited, we do have the ability to recall and to remember. Others more than others, others more than some, excuse me. However, we get, rem we get to remember. As a matter of fact, Jesus stated ver various times the, the power of remembrance. Because when you remember, you get to get fragmented information and bring it together and recognize where you came from. And so worship requires remembrance. Because you can't value, because let me help you here, worship is value. Worship is honor. As a, matter of, as a matter of fact, the term worship comes from two words. It's worth-ship. We, we are attributing honor and value to a person. Of course, worship is not only to God. People worship things. People worship money. People worship possessions. People worship other people. Y'all hearing me? We worship the Lord, so we're attributing honor and value and glory to the Lord. So, so watch this. Worship, it's more powerful when there's remembrance. Come on. Come on. Because it's hard to attribute worth to something that doesn't have a backstory. All right. Come on. Come on. And so, and so in our cases. In our situations, we get to remember where we came from. We get to remember the bad and the ugly as well as the good. But when you know where you came from, where you know where you used to be, when you know who you were, when you remember well, Pastor Manny, I don't want to remember. We need to remember. Now, when I'm talking about remember, I'm not talking about going back to the past. You are no longer in the past. However, you got to remember where you came from. Religion wants you to forget where you came from so you won't attribute honor where you are. When I mean by religion, I'm talking about ritualistic mindset. But when we become sensitive and we attribute honor, we remember yes. where we were, who we used to be, and we give thanks that we're no longer those people anymore. That's why scripture says, if you've been forgiven of much, you love much. And so, can you remember who you were, who you used to be? And for those who are like, I, I don't know what's happening here. Well, 
the people that are very <laughs> expressive in their worship, it's because they remember who they used to be and they're not that person anymore. What they have done is they remember the goodness of God. They remember how faithful God has been. They remember that God took them out of the miry clay and placed them upon a rock and gave them a new place to stand. Oh, come on, somebody. If that's you today, let's sing this song one more time. And let's not just sing the words on a screen. Let's remember where we came from. Can we do that? Can we do that? Hallelujah. Let's sing. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. Oh, all my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my That's it, come on. Of the goodness of God. Oh, all my life you have been faithful. Yes, you have, Lord. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made. It's running after. That's it. It's running after. Come on, Psalms 23 says that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. Sing it.
is running out, is running after me. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All my life you have been faithful. All my life, all my life, Lord. All my life you have been so y'all folks, but I, I honestly feel like I can, if we went home right now, I'm good. There's nothing like being in his presence. There's nothing like in, in enjoying his presence and recognizing his lordship. I don't know about you folks, but I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Come on, if you're thankful, give him a clap and a shout this morning. So, the Father's here. The presence of the Lord is in this place. I need you to recognize that. We're more in his presence than we are in our, each other's presence. Yeah. That's the reality. So, you're in God's house. And this time with him is now holy. Holy is not necessarily blameless holy means set apart and given to him only you have chosen well by coming to church this morning because the father is here and so he's walking the aisles he's whispering in your ear he's only going to encourage you and love you and tell you that he is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through Him. Holy Spirit is here. And He's going to encourage you. Yes. He's going to let you know that a life with Him is a life that will prosper, a life of purpose. You're going to leave today so encouraged. And you're not going to leave with condemnation. You're going to leave with encouragement. You're not going to leave with shame. You're going to leave here with your head lifted up, knowing very well that your God loves you. And though you may be imperfect, oh, <laughs> that's what he specializes in. Amen? I want to, maybe you want to have something you want to share? I want to have you pray just a little bit, baby. And so... I want Pastor Victoria to pray. And as we transition over and we start greeting one another, I need y'all to greet each other with the love of the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence in this house. We thank you that you are able to come and establish your throne right now on the praises of your people. Father, we just want to look at you right now and say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father, for loving us and being the lover of our souls. Thank you for finding us and calling us to you and calling us by name and calling us to your own. 
thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do in the rest of this service. Lord, right now we just say that you can come and have your way. Have your way today, Lord, in the lives of your people, Lord. Move and have your way. We thank you right now, Lord. I, Lord, I, I thank you, Lord, that has, as people have come in today, Lord, Lord, maybe they've they've come in heavy laden or, or heavy burdened or, or maybe they've just come. Father, they feel like there's nowhere else to go. I thank you, Lord, that you are here. You are here to transform lives today. You are here to remove the burden. You are here to remove the guilt and the shame. And Father, I thank you for it now. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're going to do. For what you're going to do in this house and even those that are watching online this morning. I thank you for it, Father. Lord, so right now we just want to tell you that we love you. We love you and we honor you. We give you all of the glory, all of the worship, Father, all of our praise, all of our love, Father. Father, the cry of our hearts has been less of us and more of you. Less of us and more of you. So, Father, we thank you for it. In your name, amen. Amen, amen. Hey, take 90 seconds. The house fights are going to come up and greet one another and tell them Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Church, it is so good to see all of your beautiful faces this morning. Everybody doing good this morning? Yes, yes, yes. Father, thank you for your presence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is so good to be in his presence. Listen, guys, a minute in his presence is better than hours of a prayer meeting because he can move and change and transform and restore you like nothing else. Amen. Do you believe that this morning? I sure do. Well, if you are here for the very first time, if you're a guest here this morning, we actually have a connect card in that seat back pocket in front of you. If you would do us a favor and fill that out and then raise it up. We've actually got ushers all over the building this morning. And as we take your connect card, we would like to give you a gift and say thank you for being here and joining us this morning. And if you're watching online, if you would go to dlc.live, hit our connect tab, fill out the information as we get your information we will mail you something or we will email i don't know how it works email mail but we will get it to you perfectly not snail mail but we will get it to you and give you a gift to say thank you for joining us as well everybody doing good Yes, it is so good to see Miss Amanda with us this morning. I'm sure that they will announce you later, but I'm so glad to see you and baby Caleb and Jeremiah. So it's so good to see y'all this morning. She came and we got to see her on Friday and everybody asked the very first question, not how are you, Amanda? We asked, where's the baby? Where's the baby? <laughs> Can you come? Guys, I'm sorry. Come on, Jeremy. Can you turn on my mic, please? Guys, this is a miracle, baby. I need you to understand this is a miracle, baby. <laughs> 
so just, just here, I'm, I'm going to interview them. All right, and so, so I need to know, guys, this is Amanda, this is Jeremy. And can you just, just take a minute and tell the story? So, can, can you do it? Yeah. yeah. Right. We, uh, we closer, tried closer. for 16 years to have more kids, and unfortunately, it just didn't work out for us. And we came to a place in our lives where we were like, well, it's okay. We'll just be empty nesters, and we can accept that and, and just move on. Um, when we started coming to DLC, our life changed um, for the better, for sure. <laughs> and then we had the opportunity to start working in cafe. Um, and at first I was hesitant, and I was like, well, I'm not really sure, but I prayed about it, and it was on my heart, like God was like, you're gonna do this. And I was like, well, I'm not sure. And God was like, no, I'm, I'm telling you, this is what I'm asking you to do. So we met with Pastor Andy and Pastor Andrea and um, we worked it all out and we started Cafe. Our first, um, our first service in Cafe was July 29th, I believe. And we conceived four days later. For us, this is our, this is, um, obedience is key. Come on, come on, come on. And God will reward you yes, for your obedience. And we are so thankful. And what's his name? Really? Give us his whole name. His full name is Caleb Hedemius yeah. Bautista. Yes! <laughs> and we chose Caleb because the meaning is wholehearted for God. That's it. That's it. And we have vowed and promised God that we will raise him in DLC as a little disciple, and thus he will be here. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. <laughs> Folks, this is. This is the promise of God. That's it. That's it. Isn't God good? Amen. And for all those who are working in the cafe, it doesn't mean you're going to get pregnant, all right? Be careful. All right, be careful. Watch what you pray for. <laughs> so, guys, God is still in the miracle working business because that is our miracle baby right there. So put your hands together one more time. Come on. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the praise. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've already talked about the car. Now, now it's announcements. Good morning, Discover Life Church. It's so good to see your smiling faces this morning. Amanda, I love you. Good morning. My name is Audrio with the Hennessy yeah. Lexus. Oh, Lexus. Timothy team. Timothy team. Yes, we love our Timothy team here. If you don't know what that is, stick around. You'll find out. Um, my name is Andrea. I'm one of the leaders here. So we have some fun stuff coming up for summer. We don't stop just because it's summer, right? We keep going. The Lord is in the summer too, right? N ain't nobody want to take a vacation from God, right? Am I right? Okay, so Summer Grow and Pray is starting on June 5th. So what that is, is we don't take a break from our prayer nights, but what we do is we add to our prayer nights. So our life groups go on break during the summer. So we come together and we gather on Wednesday nights just like we do normally, but we do it a little different. So we come in and we're going to pray from 6.45 to 7.30. And then at 7.30, Pastor Manny is starting a new teaching series. It's going to be Wednesday night only. You have to be here, okay, called Demon Slayer. Yeah, yeah. So it's a study of demonology, so you don't want to miss. And our cafe opens, right, beforehand? It really does. Yeah, with dinner. And so it, it's fun. Come on out. 6.15, the cafe opens. We'll come in here about 6.45 and dig into the word. Then next up on the list, we have lunch with pastors. Yes. 
it is June 23rd, directly after service. Yes, what is Lunch with Pastors? So it is a meet and greet with the pastors. You get to meet with them, ask them questions, see how we do things here at DLC. Yeah, so this is for anybody that's new, that's checking out Discover Life Church. You haven't necessarily been through a next step yet. You haven't made the decision all the way, or maybe you've made the decision and you just want to come and get to know us better. So this Sunday is for you. Again, it's June 23rd, directly after service, and the whole family is invited. Where can you sign up? Um, online, register at discoverlifeatl.com slash lunch. Yes, so get registered today. We know that this it feels far away, but I mean, time is flying, guys. So it's going to be here before you know it. Go ahead and get registered. Um, last but not least, Mother's Day was last week, right? <laughs> We had so much fun. And one of the special things that we do annually here at Discover Life Church with Mother's Day is we support one of our community partners, Obria. If you don't know what Obria Clinic is, they offer um, free or sliding scale medical care to anyone who is pregnant or ladies in need. And so every year we kind of just want to um, honor them and also put their name out there that this is someone that we support and someone that we partner with because they do so many great things in our community. We've even had a couple um, ladies here at DLC that have gotten medical care there um, and, and prenatal care for their babies. They they do um, free, um, what's, what's the... What's ultrasounds? Ultrasound. Oh, thank you. Words leave you when you're up here. Um, free ultrasounds and all of that. And so it's just an amazing organization. How we do this is we ask you to take a baby bottle home, fill it with change, and then bring it back by Father's Day. Um, or you can go check them out online and give there. But either way, we want you to know um, we support Obria in this house, and we would like you to know about them too. So the baby bottles are right back there next to our giving kiosk. And I think that is all we have for you today. Grab one as you go. But thank you guys so much. We're going to dig into the word now. Oh, no, we have even more exciting stuff. So one of the, or really the first core value that we have as a church is honor. And honor is really the essence of what worship is. And when we honor, we attribute value and worth, respect, and we honor God, but you know that it's impossible to honor God unless we honor each other. First, it's possible to honor each other and not honor God, but it's impossible to honor God and not honor each other. And so it's important, and we do this on occasions, and we make time for it in our Sunday worship services. And so we have a thing that we call we see you. We see you basically means this, that not just the pastors, but the leadership of the church. We see you. We see you, we notice you, and we recognize the value that you are giving the vision of the church and serving the Lord by serving God's people. And so we want to honor a couple this morning morning and once I call their name I want you to honor them yes. honor them from your heart by standing up and clapping and shouting and and I believe the father smiles when we do this because we respect each other this couple has been attending church now for almost three years and if I think I'm correct, maybe maybe three years. Don't quote me on that. Um, but what they have been doing, they've been making a difference. And we're noticing the difference by, watch this, not what they do, it's how they do it. It's how they do it. And so, can we honor and say that we see Rob and Don Harris. Come on, get up here. Get up here. <laughs> yeah. 
You gotta get on the stage. <laughs> So, so um, Amanda was talking about uh, the cafe, and when Amanda and Jeremy took over the cafe, it was really the Bautista family, and they broke cafe records. I'm talking about from food, I mean, it was just, but then Amanda has to go and have a baby. And did you know that Rob Harris has broken the cafe record that Amanda had not once, twice? So I'm going to say it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> All right, man. It's going to be a cook off. But listen, every time people see Rob, through that window on that black stone, guys, before you go home, you have to have that French toast casserole with sausage and eggs and what else you got in there? I don't know. He ain't gonna say, but it's it's you eat it, you put just a little bit of syrup on the boy look a ham. And darn. Now, she probably hating this right now. But you, you, you listen, you, you, her desire to learn, very few people ever stop me. And she stops me after I greet guests. And then she has a question on the sermon. And I'm able to answer that. And she'll say this. She, she just won't go, oh, okay. She goes, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to chew on it. I'm going to chew on it. Oh, okay. Almost like I ain't convinced, but God's going to have to convince me. And I'm like, no, that's a student. Yes. But it's more than that. It's your heart of service. Whenever we ask, you, we make an ask, you respond. Both of y'all do. And we want to say to you, thank you. This is your house, and we love you dearly. Now, we used to give away like $5,000 in cash. But we, but we ain't got that no more. But did I say dollars? I meant Jamaican dollars. <laughs> I'm teasing. But you get a Discover Life hat. Discover Life hat. And you get a card. Don't worry, nothing going to fall out of that card, all right? So I just want to. Uh, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Oh, that looks, that, looks, that looks good on you. Put your hands together for Rob and Don. <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, that looks good on you, man. <laughs> but we're not done yet. There's one more person. So go ahead, sit down, sit down. Sit down. This next person... We've noticed such a surge of, the only way that I could explain it as a pastor is a surge of not up, but down. Let me explain. When plants grow, they grow down toward the earth and then they grow up. You can't grow up until you grow down. And this person has gone, whoo, roots went deep. And now we're beginning to see an incredible amount of growth and fruit and strength. And, and yes, and so what they have done this past six months have been nothing but life-changing to many people in this church. And so we want to honor Miss Gail. <laughs> Get up here! So, we have done, you know, 
we do life groups fall and spring semesters. And we've had some really good life groups. But for some reason, this past life group that she did, it's what we're hearing the stories, the testimonies that we're hearing on her teaching on worship that has blown people's minds. And it's good fruit. And we want to say that we honor you. And we thank you for that, for helping us pastor the people. You're more than a singer. You know that. You know that. You're a teacher, you're an instructor, you're an encourager. And the anointing that you carry is so valuable in this house. So guess what? I don't know if you're a hat wearer, but you're going to get your hat too. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Put your hands together for Miss Gail. Go ahead and sit down, sit down, sit down. You're getting your workout today, aren't y'all? So, <laughs> and so, <laughs> we, um, yeah, talk about honor. We're going to switch from we see you, but we're going to keep the same subject of honor. Because it's graduation season. And we, we have a very young student group we only had two graduates. So I want us to put our hands together for, do we have them individually slided? Uh, give me the first one. Come on, just throw the first one out there. Eli Edison! <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Hey, I love it. Make sure you give the next one just as much love, all right? <laughs> and then our next one is Gabrielle Sison. <laughs> well, guys. So I don't have my mic on me. Can you bring me my mic, Eric? And so, because I kind of want to interview them for just a second. I got, we have a little time to play with. And so we'll start off with you, Mr. Edison. He's Mr. now. Plant, are you holding? You ready for that mic? <laughs> so tell me, tell me where you're going and tell me what your plans are for this next year. Uh, well, I'm looking into going to Georgia State College um, down in Atlanta, and I'm thinking about studying graphic design. Graphic design. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You got this. Amen. But I, I, something tells me you can do anything you want to. Amen. It's a very smart man. On, and so, Gabby, you already told me what you're doing, so tell me what you're doing. That means we're losing her. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I got a little jealous, a little envious. But Karis Bible College is a very incredible college. And, of course, the scenery there is unbelievable. It's literally right off of the, college, the Rocky Mountains. But Karis Bible College. But you're going to go all the way through. Yeah. Are you ever going to come home ever, at all? Promises, promises. Can we extend our hands toward our graduates today? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, 
Because the end of one season opens up another. Yes. Yes. And Lord, how they left one season determines how they enter the next. And Lord, as they leave this season and after they graduate, Father, we release them into their next, their next. And Lord, may they forever remember where they came from so that they can thrive wherever they're going. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Shout with me, amen. 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 We got some gifts for you. Now, we are, I think if you've spoken to a lot of graduates, you know what this is, and this is our tradition that we give them, okay? We, y'all want to know what it is? Tell them. Open it up, open it up. Yes. Ooh, there's more than a Bible. No, that's it, just a Bible. <laughs> so, folks, we believe in God's Word. They got to take God's Word with. I know they probably look at Scripture digitally, but you should. And then your name is also on there. Just know you're, you have your name on here as well, okay? And so enjoy it. Keep it close to you at all times. Put your hands together for our graduates, guys. Come on. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Eric. Thank you, sir. Amen. God's so good. God is so good. Good things happening. Guys, I cannot encourage you anymore to attend Summer Grow. First of all, you get to have dinner. Bring your family with you. And uh, we have child care, and, uh, but we are very excited uh, about the, well, I'll be teaching for eight weeks, eight weeks on demonology. We call it Demon Slayer. And it's an in-depth study on where demons came from, on what they are, what they do, how they affect us, how we affect them. And uh, we're going to unveil, and my goal is to annihilate superstition. And to inform you and let you know that every one of you, including your children, you have already been designed and fashioned and commissioned to be a demon slayer. So you need to come, okay? Make sure you show up for it, and let's break some midweek records. Uh, The way it works is that we come and eat dinner. We pray. We're going to pray for 30 minutes, and I will teach for 45 minutes to an hour. And I'll get you out of here uh, by 8.30. Is that why we said 8.30? 8.30, you can go home. Some of y'all can be in bed by 9 for those who live really close. But if you're like, uh, um, you know, like Blake and Sumner, they'll go to bed at 10 because they live really far. <laughs> All right. Well, it's, it's that time that we get to receive our tithes and offerings because it's offering time. Yeah. Now, I, I, I must say, I must say that the something's happening and the generosity of this church is beginning to increase. And... Um, We're beginning to understand honor and what honor means. And I truly believe we can teach, I can teach on it later, I won't teach on it now, that the tithe and the offering belongs to the place where you worship. Where you worship. And um, it's your storehouse. You you gotta determine what your storehouse is. If we're gonna use the language of Malachi chapter three. However, Apart from all that, it's just a very, very good idea to give where you receive. Um, If you eat at a restaurant, you're not going to dine and dash, although some of y'all have been guilty of doing that. But all that's in your past. Right, Pastor Laura? I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. That's before Jesus. But... uh, 
<laughs> you never, I, I can't do that one. I, I, I would feel that I, I mean, not now, of course, but, but when, I, when I didn't know Jesus, I couldn't do it either because I was afraid I would like get sick. Anyways, my point here is, moving right along, is that uh, we don't dine and dash. And in the same place where you receive, you should always give. And so that's the whole concept of the economy of the kingdom. Now we, in our really, we're, we're in a tight spot regarding our situation with our building and we're trying to get it purchased. We need every penny that comes in. And we've slimmed down our budget and we're laser focused to try to make sure that we're able to obtain this building and make it DLCs for sure clear and done however we still give to missions because we can't stop giving to missions we can't stop that in the same way you as a congregant even though it, the economy is weird and crazy and two bags of groceries at Publix cost a hundred bucks don't forget we're honor goes to honor the Lord with the first fruit of your fields and we honor God first and you do it at the place where you're planted man that's my word of encouragement to you keep it up church I'm so proud of you so so proud and let's keep it moving amen we give in person. If, you, if you're an in-person giver and you're like a cash or a check person, you, there's an offering envelope in front of you in the seat back pocket in front of you. You can fill that out. And between the two double doors, right here inside the sanctuary, you see like this little silver thing. If you look to the back, you'll see it's back there. You can slide the offering envelope there. And if you're a first-timer, you can put your guest card in there too as well. Or you can give on a computer on our, at our website. Our website is pretty awesome. Make sure you log on. If you want to do a text to give, it's a 84321. What I did was I got the number 84321, and I made that a contact as Discover Life Giving. And if I ever want to give through text, I do. But initially, there's a setup, you know, because that's a service. A lot of churches use 84321. Make sure you pick Discover Life Church. Just want to let you know that. By the way, there's a person that she thought, there's another Discover Life Church. They used that. She picked our church, and she gave us like a couple thousand dollars. And then she ended up realizing it was the wrong Discover Life Church. We offered to get the money back. She goes, no, it goes to the kingdom. I said, praise the Lord. And, or you can download the app. Download, everybody should have the app, guys. Get the app and make sure you say yes to notifications. We won't crazy notify you all the time, but it's important to get a notification from our church regarding some special things that we're doing. And if you already have the app, turn on your notifications so when we send a notification, it's all there. Amen? i got to stop. Father, thank you for the givers. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. I'm going to attempt to do something in, in 